Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jesse. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, the Pythagoras theorem and to find the solutions of a quadratic equation, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a quarter circle. A rectangle is drawn inside that has one corner lying on the quarter circle arc. Now two sides in the diagram are given as 2 and 4 units as shown in the figure. Then my problem is, what is the area of this orange shaded rectangle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. For better understanding, let's give some notations to each vertex. The center of the quarter circle is denoted by O. The remaining ends of the quarter circle are denoted by A and B. And the remaining corners of the rectangle are denoted by P, Q and R. Now let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the whole construction is made inside a quarter circle. Secondly, the corner Q of the rectangle OPQR is lying on the arc. And finally, AP equal to 2 units and BR equal to 4 units. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It's nothing but to find the area of the rectangle OPQR. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now observe the diagram. To calculate the area of the rectangle, we need to calculate its length and breadth. For that, suppose the radius of the quarter circle is R units. Then the side AO is a radius and so equal to R. Therefore, length of the rectangle PO is equal to R minus 2. Similarly, the side BO is also a radius and so equal to R. Therefore, breadth of the rectangle RO is equal to R minus 4. Now come back to our diagram. Consider the line OQ which is a diagonal of the rectangle. Note that it is also a radius of the quarter circle and so equal to R units. That is in the rectangle OPQR we have length OP equal to R minus 2, breadth OR is equal to R minus 4 and the diagonal OQ equal to R. Then by applying Pythagoras theorem we will get R minus 2 whole square plus R minus 4 whole square equal to R square. This equation simplifies to 2R square minus 12R plus 20 equal to R square. That is R square minus 12R plus 20 equal to 0, a quadratic equation in R. Now we have to solve this equation. We know that for a general quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, the general solutions are given by x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. And here the equation is r square minus 12r plus 20 equal to 0. Therefore, a equal to 1, b equal to minus 12 and c equal to 20. So, substitute these values in the quadratic formula and simplify. Finally, we will get r equal to 12 plus or minus 8 divided by 2. That is, r equal to either 10 or 2. That is, in our figure, radius r is equal to 10 or 2. But which value is suitable here? Suppose if possible, r equal to 2 units. Then, look at the breadth of the rectangle, which is equal to r minus 4. So, if we take radius to be 2 units, breadth will become 2 minus 4 equal to minus 2. But that is not possible. So, radius cannot be 2. And hence, r must be equal to 10 units. Then, for our rectangle, length is 10 minus 2 equal to 8 units and breadth is 10 minus 4 equal to 6 units. Therefore, area of the rectangle will be product of length and breadth which is equal to 8 into 6 equal to 48 square units. 
and that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.